canned cocktails. What do we think about them? Have you tried them? I have not tried any yet, but I am very curious about the rise in these, especially because to me, I associate cocktails with premium, luxury, handcrafted, I'm feeling good, I'm feeling special, and I don't really associate like canned drinks with that. But it is really interesting to see these like ready to drink canned cocktails pop up all over the place. Uh, so I wanted to take a look at the different branding around them. I'm gonna avoid the whole like spritz category, the whole spiked seltzer, because there are a million of those. And so just focus on the ones that are marketing themselves more around cocktails. So let's get into it. First one I wanna look up is Tip Top Proper Cocktails. This one I've always had an eye on. The name is really fun. They come in these cute little cans. When you land on their website, it says proper cocktails in tiny cans. So they mentioned that the tiny cans, cause that those are pretty fun. And it's a little bit cheeky. They have this giraffe with a monocle and a top hat. So they're kind of nodding to this sort of like premium old world. Feels like a bit like British, especially proper in the names. They have a really fun little lifestyle video pouring the cocktail into a glass. I think that's cool because it's showing this may come in a can, but you should be drinking it in a glass like a normal cocktail. It looks like a normal cocktail. Tip Top makes prepared classic cocktails that hit on all the notes of traditional recipes, offering modern drinkers a balanced beverage whenever and wherever. So they really, yeah, trying to play up that like, this is just a cocktail in a can, it's premium whenever and wherever. So that's kind of their value prop is that you don't need to like have this full bar situation to enjoy these cocktails. They have the, a new drink, the Boulevardier, which I love those drinks. Okay, their flavors, espresso martini, old fashioned, Manhattan, bees knees, margarita negroni. Um, they have some fun ones, daiquiri, gin martini, but it's definitely like the more classic ones, the jungle bird, which I've never heard of. They definitely have a tone of voice and a personality, which I like to see. It's a little like old fashioned -y, classic. Take a gander at the attire and accoutrements to see if anything strikes your fancy. Definitely like harkens back to a different time, which makes sense since they have more classic cocktails. They have some merch, which is pretty fun. It kind of reminds me of almost like music merch. The blog is called Good Libations, a proper offering of the best things in life recommendations, music, interviews, and more. So definitely that lifestyle element that we've seen with some other brands. Travel Guide to Boston, they have this really fun retro graphic that looks like it's from maybe like the 60s, 50s or 60s. Shake and Playlist. A lot of the graphics are definitely more like 50s or like early 60s. Martinis 101. Interesting, they have, they're linking to like a, a tote. I wonder if they're trying to do some affiliate. That's interesting. There is like a real mixture of things on here, like a coloring book, but it's under amusement. So maybe they have different activities, some interviews, cocktail herbs you can grow in a can. Interesting. This is pretty fun. I like the lifestyle element. There is a quite a mix of editorial here. I think I would maybe pare it down even more. Like there's music, there's the finer things. So those are like recommendations, spooky movies to pair with cocktails. It's like all over the map with, with lifestyle. I would maybe pick a few things. Like there's also under the finer things, there's like olives. But I can see that they have like editorial buckets. I would just say maybe it would just be a little stronger if it was maybe like a few of these associations versus all of them. But it is quite fun and I like it. Proper offering of the best things in life. So maybe it is supposed to be varied. Okay, looking at their Instagram, classic cocktails in tiny cans. So, so repeating that like very simple what it is. They have very, very cool lifestyle images, some, some retro graphics. I feel like I'm the target consumer for this one because I would totally, like I like that it is taking classic cocktails, it's keeping what looks like the quality, but making it a little bit more fun and light, which I think a cocktail in a can, like it should be a little more fun and light. I really like Tip Top Spreading. That's the one that I thought of first. I was a little bit familiar with it, so let's explore some of these other ones that I've never seen before. There's a whole subsection of espresso martinis, which makes sense because I feel like we are used to canned and bottled coffee, and so it's just like a small step then to the espresso martini. And we saw that Tip Top, they had an espresso martini, and some of these in general have espresso martinis, but there's one called Cantini that is just an espresso martini. Crack open an espresso martini. This one is interesting because they're just kind of like talking about espresso martinis, but they're not really talking about their differentiated value from 
like making an espresso martini or from some of these other alternatives. Maybe they're in very early days. They just have one product. The espresso martini effect. I don't feel like you necessarily need to be selling people on espresso martinis because if they're buying this product, they probably already like them. Yeah, this seems like kind of a basic landing page. Maybe they're in earlier days. But the can is cute. The font is very fun. Just to quickly move along with these espresso martinis, another one is Deloche. Deloche? Deloche? I'm guessing Deloche. This one is definitely more sleek. It looks a lot more like a canned coffee drink, or I could picture it in a display case at a, at a high-end cafe. Vodka with cold-pressed espresso. They do also have a lemonade iced tea. We craft premium, naturally caffeinated cocktails for an elegant booze and buzz. They have a very kind of like simple page made premium for you. Nothing super like stand out. I do like the like cleaner imagery. It's like a nice alternative to some of the others I've seen so far, which are a bit more lifestyle-y. And the other espresso martini one I saw is Night Owl Martini. Oh, this one's interesting. They're definitely going for like more like luxe city, glamour, sparkles a classic made convenient, so that makes a little more sense. They're giving the value proposition of why you would get it in the can. Life's a hoot, drink night owl, that's kind of cute. They have like a disco ball, so playing up this sort of party vibe. So that's interesting to see the, the three different espresso martinis and how they're all, the branding is different of each of them. I wanna look at one that I'm familiar with that I think is in a lot of grocery stores called Cutwater. We have bought the lime margarita when I've been at my parents' place. It's a little bit less sugary sweet than your typical canned margarita although I'm still not a big fan. That is the one I've, I've tried out of all of these. So you land on it and it definitely looks less like cool brand, probably because it's not direct to consumer. So they more just need like a landing page with information. Real spirits, real cocktails. It definitely looks more like mass market. Kind of reminds me of the bigger beer brands that you would see anywhere. Lime margarita, tiki rum mai, Thai vodka meal, mango margarita. So a little more tropical from the ballpark to the beach. Yeah, like uh, to, to put this mm, not in a bad way, it's a little more like basic, the branding. Like it really looks like you could swap this in with like maybe like a Bud Light ad. <laughs> no, it's like a little bit cooler than Bud Light. Visit our tasting room, San Diego. Oh yeah, it is quite like San Diego. No shade to San Diego all the way. I feel like I maybe just did a little bit. This is just like a lot more straightforward. It's not so much lifestyle brand. If you look at their Instagram, yeah, it's just a lot of product shots. I, w I don't know why anyone would follow this Instagram. Just product shots. Williams cocktails. These are fun. They come in like really squat little cans. They almost look like little tuna cans. Even more squat than the tip top ones. A night out in a can. That's funny because the background is of a night out in a can is like a sunny beach, which I wouldn't picture as a night out. I'd maybe change that background image. These might be European. Oh, it's from the Netherlands. Okay, but they, they kind of have these classic ones again, Negroni, espresso martini, old fashioned, cosmopolitan, daiquiri, margarita. So similar to the tip top ones. These remind me really like tuna, tuna cans or like paint cans, which is interesting. Not really like a tone of voice, but the visuals are cool. What the about is not really, it's not a very specific story. I mean, no shade to them, but it sounds a little bit like like if you asked AI to write like why we started this canned cocktail company. But I will say the visuals are very cool. I think it's reminding me of tuna can because it has a little, it has like the pop, the opening is like a, it's like a tuna can, the little tab. I wonder how you don't spill that all over the place because I feel like I would spill it all over the place. I feel like when I open up things with that little tab, there's spillage but it does stand out, which is cool. Let's look at All Hands Cocktails. They definitely have a ton of voice, which is fun. When I first came, they said, we're gonna need to see some ID, which is kind of fun. It's like play on the bouncer. And then the newsletter pop up, welcome aboard, join the All Hands Dispatch so we can regale you with stories and send you free shit from time to time. They immediately have this outdoorsy lifestyle image of rafting. So I feel like they're maybe going towards the sort of like, Denver, North Carolina, outdoorsy type of vibe. Oh gosh, I hate when I use vibe. The lineup, these, oh, these are all vodka sodas and a vodka tonic. Okay, so I accidentally kind of got into the likes by clicking on this. This branding reminds me a lot of Austin Eastsiders. I could probably see these two aimed at a similar sort of audience. If you go to their Instagram, it's very outdoor sporty. 
they do have music, but in like a very different way. It's like acoustic guitar, looks a little more Americana. So definitely aimed at, at a more rural crowd. They are from Houston, Texas. We're gonna look at another San Diego one. This one's called Cove. It's K-O-V-E, but like when you say it aloud, you're like Cove, like, oh, like a cove of the sea. Award-winning craft brewery. Oh, that's interesting. They're calling them so craft brewed cocktails. I wonder what that means. Beach days, craft brewed, five, they're only 5% ABV, so it's less. Dragon fruit margarita, beaches and peaches. It's very bright, fun, light. It again looks quite San Diego in the way the cut water did. I don't know how to explain what I mean. It, it's just a bit like basic. I wouldn't necessarily pick this up. If you go to their Instagram, it's a bunch of pretty girls partying on the beach. So yeah, I think it's just like not aimed at me. It's more this like young partying girls. Let's look at ranch rider spirits. So they start with images of a cowboy or cowgirl. This has spirits, but then also some canned ranch water, passion fruit. Those are looking a little bit like the spritzes, the spiked seltzers. They do have this very like, I love these bright colors. It's very Texas jalapeno ranch water that sounds i would love to try that actually tequila paloma this is pretty fun because they have all these different colors and then this very like western old-timey illustration just quality spirits sparkling water and fresh squeezed citrus no added sugar lab created shit i am a fan of the right amount of swearing for a brand if it's in the tone of voice if it's in the brand personality if it's in the style guide and used sparingly simply the west from our ranch to your doorstep it's this really fun western feel i think that they are doing this pretty well the cool thing with like this branding is the associations so if i ever went anywhere that feels like western or ranch i feel like i would be like i want a ranch rider drink kind of like corona with a a beach and those setting up those triggers it's pretty fun let's look at vacay i think this might be in oh this is in the uk um this one definitely has like poolside poolside is that what they're called pool suite uh vacation sunscreen that whole brand which i would love to do another video on them the sort of like 80s miami neon colors beach pool for the free spirited yeah all the fonts and everything it kind of reminds me a little bit of that although it's funny the cans they're those bright neon 80s colors but then they are also kind of using these 2010 tech illustration on the on the cans which is interesting maybe they've redone the branding in digital before doing the packaging the packaging is quite fun but it's it's kind of different than what i'm seeing on the site whether you're using like this serif font that looks like that very 80s branding. It definitely looks like, oh, if you're partying at the pool, young, the cocktail for your happy hour, for the free spirited, they keep saying. It reminds me a lot of, I feel like maybe they got inspired by the vacation sunscreen. This one is a little more outside the box. Dio, you land on the, on the landing page, it says drink divinity and it has someone with a, disco ball so similar to that espresso martini brand that was playing up like glamour city nightlife but it's interesting because the branding on the cans looks more like new agey almost like southwest i feel like i would picture this more with a sort of outdoorsy nature desert personality but everything on the site is like nectar of the gods. Maybe I'm misinterpreting this visual branding as something else, but that was my association when I first looked at it. They do have a very strong brand personality around like Dionysus, the god of festivity and pleasure, this whole like divine thing, which is an interesting way to go. Hercule Herculean strength cocktails. Yeah, am I just looking at this? Am I just looking at this wrong? Is this branding actually like divine? Pandora's box. I mean, that's kind of fun. That's like their sampler box. Um, yeah, to me, the like visual and the verbal are not going together. Turmeric, ginger, lemon, mule, Tahitian, vanilla, espresso, martini, spicy pineapple, margarita. They definitely have the verbal side of the brand spread throughout all the copy, which I really like. I don't know, something about the can isn't associating with me. This whole div divine expression in the verbal identity. If you go to their Instagram, it's definitely like playing off of like sexuality and like decadence and there's like some provocative imagery. 
It's interesting. It is a point of view. <laughs> I like that they're doing something different. I don't know if all of these things go together for me. The label on the can, that it's a canned cocktail, the decadence of the divinity. I feel like I would pair all of those, like those three things don't go together. And I do really like tension within a brand, but the tension here isn't like making sense for me. I feel like that verbal identity around the divinity stuff could would go better with a different product and a different visual, but that's just my quick reaction. I am sure there are like a million more of these brands, but that's all I have time to look at today. I think my favorite is the Tip Top Proper Cocktails. I think it's the most fully expressed that makes the most sense throughout its personality and the association to the product. It looks high-end and premium, which I would be looking for from a canned cocktail. Let me know what you think, if there are any that were your favorites. Okay, bye.